Now let us discuss about introduction to functions in JavaScript. We know that function means a collection of statements which performs a given task. It may be any problem. It may be addition of two numbers or creating a bank account or withdrawing money from the bank account. It may be any task. Function contains a collection of statements which performs a given task. Functions are mainly useful for reusability. Reusability means defining the function only once and we can use that function any number of times as we want according to our requirement. And another advantage of the functions is functions are useful for maintaining the modular programming. So module is nothing but a function. So with the help of the functions, if we have, if we want to implement some big task, so then the task will be divided into several modules where each module contains a function. If you take the example of bank, so creating bank account is nothing but one module, one function. Withdrawing money from the bank account is nothing but one module, one function. Likewise. Now let us see about function definition. Uh, in JavaScript, functions are defined using function keyboard followed by function name. So let us see the syntax to declare a function. So here we have to use a keyword called function followed by function name. For function name simply we have to follow the rules of identifier. Identifier, we know about identifier. Uh, so it is a combination of alphabets, digits, symbols. But the first letter must be an alphabet or symbol such as underscore. A first letter can't be a digit. A variable or identifier can't start with a digit. Uh, next, uh, keywords are not allowed. Blank spaces are not allowed. Uh, variables, identifiers are nothing but case sensitive. For variables, functions and for arrays, for classes, for objects, for everything. We have to follow the rules of identifier only. Next, within the parentheses we have to specify the parameter. We know that function definition never ends with semicolon. Next, within the curly braces, we need to place the body. Even the function definition contains one statement, we need to place that statement within the curly braces. Next, let us see about function call. A function is called using the function name followed by a list of parameters separated by comma, enclosed in parentheses, terminated with a semicolon. So let us see the syntax for the function call. So we have to use function name. Next, we need to specify parameters. The parameters are separated by comma, enclosed in parentheses and terminates with semicolon. So in JavaScript, there is no need of any function declaration. Uh, that is nothing but function prototype. Whereas in C, C++ uh, and Java, function declaration or function prototype is compulsory. But whereas in JavaScript that is not necessary. Now let us see uh, a sample program in order to demonstrate functions. Let us calculate uh, biggest of three numbers with the help of the functions. Biggest of three numbers with the help of the functions. So let us let us have three variables. Let the first number is uh, a. Let the first variable is a. A value is 10. Next b value is 20. Next uh, c value is 30 c value is 30 okay next let us display the output in the output only call the print function so document dot write use some header tag so that the content will be displayed in larger font sizes biggest of three numbers is biggest of three numbers is call the function so let name of the function is maximum so maximum of, so here what are the parameters A, B, C. So this is nothing but function call. Whenever a function is called, then the control goes to the function definition. So next we need to define the function. Next to close the head attack. Okay, close the head attack. Next, define the function. We know that function is defined with the help of function keyword. Name of the function is maximum. Let here the parameters are X, Y and Z. We know how to calculate biggest of three numbers. So first to compare x with y and z. If x is greater than y as well as x is greater than z. 
if x is greater than y and x is greater than z then we can say that x is the biggest number otherwise compare y and z if y is greater than z then we can say that y is the biggest number so written by written by else else written z else written z okay next close the curly brace we'll close the curly brace let us save the program let us save the program here what is the biggest number 30 so biggest of three numbers is this is function call so whenever a function is called then the control goes to the function definition a value 10 will be passed to x b value 20 will be passed to y c value 30 will be passed to z and the corresponding number biggest number will be written and it will be displayed here so what is the biggest number 30 so we'll get output as biggest of three numbers is 30 okay let us change the number let the first number is 100 so now we will get output as biggest of three numbers is 100 biggest of three numbers is 100 so in this way we can use the functions so in order to implement the function we need only two things first one is function declaration second one is function call so this is about introduction to functions in javascript